Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install PHP script with Singer. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in this website where I found a guide that explains how you can do it. So right now we're going to go to the first step. Step 1, log in to your Singer account. To install a PHP script with Hossinger, you need to log in to your Hossinger account first. After logging in, navigate to the control panel. Step 2. Navigate to the installer section. In the control panel, you will see an installer section. Click on it and you will be redirected to the installer page. Now, choose to add a website. They'll ask you what type of website do you want to create. Just click according to your niche. I chose the blog. Then they ask you create or migrate a website. So just click on skip create and empty website. After skipping this option, it will take you to the domain panel to name your website. You can choose the existing domain name or you can buy a new domain name according to your website. After selecting the domain, you will get manager site message just like that. Now you will get a new Hostinger Edge panel screen there. Go to the dashboard and open file manager. Step 3. Choose the PHP script you want to install. On the installer page, you will see a list of, pop a list of popular PHP scripts that you can install. Choose the script you want to install and click on it. Extract the zip file of the script and find the upload file only. Remember the main script is in the upload file. You can say the software or the whole website. Copy the upload file from the folder and paste it into the file manager. Public HTML default PHP. Now come back to the dashboard and create a database, MySQL database, and then MySQL username, password. So now your database is ready your website code is on the server. And then you need to enter the necessary details, install the script, configure the script, and lastly, test the script. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.